Greg Day. I'm the Chief Security Officer for Palo Alto Networks in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Well, in the last few weeks, we've had some of the biggest cybersecurity conferences for the year in, in Europe. Uh, the ISF conference for CISOs and very quickly followed up with Gartner's IP Expo aimed at CIOs. What I wanted to do is just take a minute and share with you some of the things that I took away from these events. So the theme, I think, is no great surprise, and that is the digital twinning we see is becoming the key transformational changer for businesses. Technology is how businesses find new routes to market and new ways of efficiency. I think what was very interesting, though, was there was a realization that whilst we're on that journey, businesses are looking for us to move faster and faster. And yet one of the key challenges there is actually, do we have the skills and the abilities to keep pace with that? What are some of the kind of the key trends that are driving that? Well, if you think about it, it is things like how do we get access to more information to drive new routes to market? And that's through things like APIs and different routes of integration that give us those bigger data sets. And then, um, very interestingly, I've just come from the uh, RSA conference committee looking at the new submissions for the 2018 conference. And their machine learning, AI, just as is in IT, is one of the key discussions of so how, when we've got all of this data, how do we leverage it to create new value, new meaning routes to market? And so what do I take away from all of this? Well, if IT is looking at cloud as a new route to enable us to be more agile, that's one of the key takeaways from that. What I see is the cycles of IT getting shorter and shorter and shorter. When you get to the very end of that curve, those that are using kind of DevOps or DevSecOps, they're talking about cycles that might last weeks or months. And then I take the step back into our roles as CISOs. And I think of the cycle and the pace we're running at. Typically, we may be running one, two, or three year evolutionary cycles of, of how we move forward with cybersecurity. And so whilst the business is looking to kind of shrink that gap and be more dynamic, my challenge to all of us is, are we keeping pace in the same way with what we do in, in cybersecurity? So I guess my takeaway, my challenge to myself and my challenge to all of you is to go back and look at your own organization and look at your ability to keep pace with that IT transformation. And if you haven't already started to do so, go have a look at some of the DevSecOps models and then start to think about some of the things that you would need to go through that journey. Very interestingly, cybersecurity skills were still seen as one of the three biggest gaps in helping businesses go through that digital transformation. And I think we have to realize if we're not going to get more people, certainly there is a high demand on cybersecurity skills, then we have to think of how do we do things in a different way. And I think when we come back to that DevSecOps model, that is the way that we head in the future. Cybersecurity has got to become more native into those dynamic environments that we're working in. But we also have to have a realization there, which is those are increasingly disposable environments. So you're going to have to start to think about how do I segment out from those the security artifacts that occur in each of those different sessions into some sort of normalized format so I can see the bigger picture. And more importantly, when I finish with those sessions and I do dispose of them from an IT perspective, how do I maintain that security intelligence that I need to be able to understand what's happening today, but also what may have happened in the past that I want to go back and reevaluate whether that's from a regulatory perspective or from a business perspective. More importantly, as we move and become more and more agile, then we have more and more different bits of IT infrastructure we've got to keep secure. So if we haven't got more skills, then we need to start to rethink just how do we better automate the application of those different cybersecurity capabilities and the processes that are running to support those different sessions. So some food for thought in 2018. My challenge for you is, what speed is your IT department running at today? What do you think they're going to be running at in the next two to three years in terms of their evolutionary cycles and change cycles? And then what speed are you running at with your cybersecurity cycles? And is it in pace with both the IT team that typically themselves are struggling to keep pace with what businesses are looking for to become more transformative and, and deliver new services and, and routes to market.